think there's a lot of confidence that the, that the economy is going to be able to rebound in the next 18 months. Right. And on what basis do you come up with that estimate of 18 months? What happens in the interim uh, that convinces uh, business people to make that call on that uh, recovery? Yeah, I, I think there, there are three, th three main factors. Um, one would be the economy was in, in pretty good shape to begin with at the beginning of the year with, before this pandemic erupted. Um, the, you know, the, 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 second, the second thing would, would be is that um, it hasn't hit Taiwan very hard. You know, Taiwan has done an amazing job. We have fewer than, than 400 cases, six deaths. But Taiwan has really put on a master class in how to handle this, this pan, pandemic. And then there are other factors, um, such as the industries here. A lot of our, our members are supplying the semiconductor industry here with, with chemicals, with, with with parts and, and machinery, and Taiwan's semiconductor industry continues to power on. What about uh, Taiwan's role in global supply chains, uh, which also links it to China and other countries in the region? How do businesses feel about the disruption in those supply chains impacting doing business in Taiwan? Yeah, right. Um, you know, when we, we asked our, our, our our companies, um, you know, how, how many were neg negatively impacted by the pandemic? Seventy-seven percent said they were in impacted, and and the, the top top three ways that they were impacted negatively were, were one with with uh, business travel, not being able to conduct business face to face, which is very very hard. The other one, of course, was a, a lower demand in, in products and, and services, and the third is what you're you're mentioning here was supply supply chain disruption. Uh, we have a lot of companies in Taiwan that are that are manufacturing electronic components for for factories in places like China. They're 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 manufacturing um, auto parts, and, and as we've seen, you know, demand for automobiles have, have just it's just it's gone into freefall, and also petrochemicals, things like that, that, that also get shipped to, to other places and, and, and uh, end up in the global supply chain. Uh, these things have been really impacted. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.